is the most accurate evidence, even if you don't have clear information about what happens today, time will surely show you the facts one day. In some periods, this happens late. However, we see that this process is happening quite quickly in the Russia-Ukraine war. As the pioneer team, we have been stating for a long time that the problems in the Russian army have increased, but efforts to hide these problems will be fruitless. The accuracy of our words have been proven once again. With the incredible confession of the Russian soldier, the problems in the Russian army have once again emerged. While the Ukrainian-Russian war continues at full speed on the front line, the Russian army is having difficulties in the continuing its efforts to advance because Russian soldiers are tired and worn out. However, this is not only about the fatigue and the wear and tears. We have mentioned the psychology of the war many times. If you don't have enough training and experience, after a while you will not be able to handle what you are going through. This has started to happen with the Russian soldiers, perhaps. There is a psychological term in describe this, but our topic is the confessions of the Russian soldiers. Let's examine the developments related to the confession of the Russian soldiers in detail. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports and the agenda of the Pioneer team, of course. You can also support me and my hardworking team by using the super thanks button below the videos. The Pioneer reports. Recently, Ukrainian Interior Minister Anton Groshchenko shared a very striking video on social media. In recent days, Groshchenko has been a very important source for us to learn what happened in the war. The video shared by Groshchenko was recorded by a Russian soldier. The Russian soldier was complaining about the Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation. The Russian soldier in the video in question surrendered to the Ukrainian army. The main source of the video is a pro-Ukrainian news channel. The Russian soldier in the video describes in details all the events he experienced from the first days he took office. The video also contains calls for surrender for the Russian soldiers still ill-serving in the Russian army. The statements of the Russian soldier in the video are as follows. They gave me and my other volunteer friends automatic machine guns and took us to the shooting range. I was not given any tactical or strategic training there. I only fired two or three times and then I was taken away from there. That was the only training I received. Only four days later, I was sent to the battlefield, although for us, it is no longer a battlefield. It is in a slaughter field because they sent us to there be destroyed. We were ordered to wait for a while in the areas where they placed us on the front line. When they gave us information, they said that we would only protect the warehouse, but it was hell where we were. We were told we were far away from the main line of the fire, but we weren't. We were in the center of the fire. We have no chance to say no. They told us that unless you had a military ID, you were nothing. I was wounded several times. They kept me on the front line until I could no longer move. They sent me for the treatment because they had to. I was in the hospital for five days. None of the commanders who had praised us and devised us as well requests us were there. We were there alone. Just me and my friends. Yes, they left us in the middle of the hell and they enjoyed themselves. The statements of the Russian soldier are of great importance in terms of understanding the current situation of the Russian army. It is possible to draw the following conclusion. This soldier is allegedly serving on the Donetsk front line. Sending an inexperienced soldier who have fired only two or three times in such an important conflict zone clearly reveals that the Russian army is following a path far from any strategy. Opposing the Russian soldiers are the heroic Ukrainian soldiers who have been modernized and equipped by the world powers and who are willing to sacrifice themselves to protect their own country. On the other hand, it clearly reveals the reason why the Russian army could not achieve any significant gains on the Donetsk front line with such inexperienced soldiers. On the other hand, another striking detail is the behavior of the Russian army official towards the soldiers during the recruitment processes and after the recruitment. According to the allegations of the Russian soldier, the Russian authorities treat their recruits very well at first. However, after the assignment, they see them only as nothing. This situation clearly reveals the weak bonds of the unity in the Russian army. 
We have stated this many times in our previous reports. Unity of the great importance in an army at the war. If there is no unity, defeat is inevitable. We see that this sense of unity is gradually diminishing in the Russian army. Antoine Greschenko, advisor to the Ukrainian Interior Ministry, shared the footage of the Russian soldiers' speeches with the following note. The Russian soldiers talk about the meat attacks. However, it seems that in Russia this does not bother not only the authorities but also the military. In Russian culture, human life has no value. Death is heroized. This was always been the case. Think of millions of soldiers. Why don't you value their own lives and the lives of the others, armed, brutally killed by years of the war? Who will kill them? For now, Ukraine is holding them. But let's not forget, Ukraine is running out of weapons, supports are still of great importance. Grashchenko also draws attention to the fact that the Russia does not care about its soldiers and the announces that the Russian army is a threat to the world. Grashchenko also emphasizes that the Ukrainian army is currently the only obstacle to the Russia's aggression and the Ukraine must continue to be supported in order to stop the aggression. We understand the developments in the Russian army from the claims of the Russian soldiers. As it is seen, the Russian soldiers have been abandoned to their fate, far from any experience on the front line. In the words of the Russian soldier who made the confession, they were left in the middle of the hell. However, the Russian administration is not bored with the situation, because the Russian administration is currently looking for new ways to throw more Russians into the middle of the hell. According to the allegations, Putin's decision in the middle of the last summer was an indication that new requirements would begin in the Russian army. In July, the Russian administration took a new decision and increased the compulsory military services age by three years. Recently, Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, issued a new decree on the Russian citizenship for foreign soldiers and their families who fought on behalf of the Russia in Ukraine. Allegedly, the increasing casualties have created fears that the Russian army will be disengaged from the Russian army. Therefore, it is claimed that Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, is trying to create a sense of belonging through the Russian citizenship. It is also claimed that the compulsory military service decision taken in July is an effort to prepare the society for a new mobilization. What do you think? Do you think the allegations of the Russian soldier will affect the soldiers who are active in the Russian army? Do you think that more Russian soldiers will surrender to the Ukrainian army? What are your opinions about the allegations of the increasing problems in the Russian army? Do you think Putin's moves for the Russian citizenship will affect the defection from the Russian army? Let me know in the comments. You know that I read and I care about all your comments.